Good evening, friends. My name is Erica Erickson, and I'm the president and founder of Playa Animal Welfare Services, a nonprofit animal rescue saving cats and dogs from the streets of Puerto Rico. As you know, the police of Puerto Rico illegally kicked down my door and took my animals and my property back on September 1st, 2023. They had a search warrant that was never signed by a judge. They kicked down my door without knocking or announcing themselves as required by law. And they did this in the dead of night, which was also prohibited by the terms of the search warrant, which required that it be executed during daylight. Why would you need to kick down the door of an animal rescuer in the dead of night if you're concerned about how the cats are getting cared for? It was just a scare and intimidation and harassment tactic to make the raid as traumatic as possible. Anyhow, my last video, I told you we finally had a hearing scheduled on April 29th for me to get my cats back. So I flew to Puerto Rico. I was excited. I knew the prosecutor had no case to refuse to, re to, refuse to return the cats. They were illegal seized, seized with an illegal search warrant. The police and prosecutor never filed the required search and seizure order to confiscate the property within 90 days they actually did nothing they literally kicked down my door took everything I own and did nothing I never got a court date I've never been criminally charged with anything the whole process was completely illegal every step of the way so I flew to Puerto Rico last week I was in the court hearing with my lawyer the judge the prosecutor feeling good thinking finally I'm going to get my cats back, not to mention the tens of thousands of dollars in other property that they illegally seized from my home. And what happens? Just as you might expect, further delays by the prosecution. Never mind the fact they kicked down my door eight months ago and took my cats. The prosecutor whined to the judge that she needed more time. She wasn't prepared. We filed this case in January. This hearing was at the end of April. Eight months from the time they kicked down my door and four months since we filed this lawsuit to get the cats back. What about this has not given her enough time? Unfortunately, the judges typically defer to the prosecutor in most cases, even though this exact prosecutor already has missed numerous deadlines on my case. She did not even respond to my lawsuit to get my cats back until well after the deadline. Yet here she gets another extension. She already moved my court date from April 22nd to April 29th, turned in her answer to my lawsuit late, and now here she is still unprepared and yet still getting yet another extension while my cats languish and die in cages. Well, I've flown to Puerto Rico how many times, paid my lawyer how many thousands of dollars to make this happen, and she's, she needs more time. No sympathy here, obviously. So the judge gave us a new court date of June 3rd, more than a month from our original hearing. In the meantime, the true reason for this delay has become very clear to me. My lawyers told me on day one back in September that if I were to fight to get my cats and property back, they would arrest me. And I said, arrest me for what? You can't just arrest a person for pursuing their legal rights to get their property that was illegally seized returned to them. My lawyer said, that's how it is in Puerto Rico. You know, the police don't like it when you call them out on their illegal and corrupt activities. The prosecutors don't like it either, apparently. So now, after I finally got my court date to get my cats back, now they've announced in this, this is in Spanish, it's a criminal court summons where I have to fly to Puerto Rico next week on May 14th and be arrested. Arrested for what? They won't tell me. 
they won't tell my lawyer. My lawyer called and said, what is this about? You have the summons where she's required to appear in criminal court. What are the charges? Well, there are no charges. Still not been charged with a crime. Completely consistent with how completely backwards and corrupt this entire process has been. How do you get a court date for crimes when you've not been charged with a crime? In America, if a person commits a crime, they're charged and arrested and then they go to court. Not this secret, clandestine process of, eh, fly to Puerto Rico, we want to arrest you. You got to be in court at 10 a.m. in court in Mayaguez. We might arrest you, we might charge you with crimes. And in fact, when my lawyer called and spoke to the prosecutor, he said that I'm going to be charged with 110 separate criminal offenses, but he won't say what. Why? Why is this a secret? I mean, charge me. Why don't you charge me now? You could charge me today. You could have charged me eight months ago. I would assume if you have enough evidence to kick down my door and take everything I own, there must be evidence of a crime, right? And if so, why don't you charge me eight months ago? You've not been doing an investigation. Any investigation would prove my innocence. The fact is, I take sick and injured cats from the streets. I care for them, bring them to the vet, get them spayed, neutered, vaccinated, treated for parasites, treated for whatever illnesses they have, and then we find them loving homes. Is that a crime? Last time I checked, it's not a crime. But now I have to go to criminal court to be supposedly arrested and charged with over a hundred criminal offenses that the prosecutor refused to tell me or my lawyer what I'm going to be charged with, all in retaliation for having the nerve to demand my illegally seized cats and property back. It's a game to them. They have no consequences, no accountability. They've already violated my rights over and over and over and no one's stopping them. Who's gonna stop them now? Who's gonna stop them from putting me in jail? Charging me with what? What crimes? Animal abuse? Is, is it animal abuse to rescue sick animals from the streets? They, they act outraged that these cats were sick when they kicked down my door. Not all the cats were sick. Of course, some are sick. We take them in that way. Walk down the streets of Puerto Rico sometime. Look around. What cats do you see? Do you see healthy, purebred, beautiful cats? No. You see mangy, sick, starving cats covered in fleas, full of worms, struggling to survive. But when I get these cats home, I feed them food. They have real good quality food. And you know what happens? They throw up their last meal that they had before I got them. If they had a meal. You know what those meals usually consist of? The vomit I find in my cages after that first day? Chewed up cockroaches, rocks, leaves, noodles, whatever they can find in the trash. It's no way to live. And I devote my life to saving them. Even since they kicked down my door and took my cats back on September 1st, I've been flying back to Puerto Rico once or twice a week, picking up more cats, getting them off the island. And yet they're charging me with a crime. 100 crimes, maybe, maybe several hundred crimes. Who, who's to say at this point, since they won't tell us. And this is a complete abuse of process by the prosecutor. This is vindictive prosecution. It violates my rights to due process. How are my lawyer and I supposed to prepare for this court date if we don't even know what it's about? Please share this video. People need to know what's going on in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is part of the United States of America. The Constitution applies there. My rights have been violated repeatedly. My Fourth Amendment rights to be free from unreasonable search and seizure by the government with their unsigned illegal search warrant. No knock, no announce, dead of night, take everything. 
no inventory completed on site, no seizure order from a judge to seize and confiscate my items, nothing. There's been absolutely no legal process followed. And yet now eight months later, because I'm speaking out and I have the courage to demand my rights be respected and my property be returned, now here I am being threatened with over a hundred criminal charges eight months after the fact. This is illegal, it's unconstitutional, it's un-American. Please send this video to every news outlet you can think of. Please send it to your politicians. We need the word to get out. This behavior cannot stand and it's been going on for way too long in Puerto Rico. This is not an isolated incident. It happens all the time and that's why my lawyers told me back in September, if you fight for your cats back, they will arrest you. It's what they do. You have to tolerate and put up with and submit to police brutality and abuses of your rights by the police. And if you stand up to them, you get arrested. They're the ones that should be arrested. Please help. Thank you.